Open enrollment for Medicare is underway, but many eligible for coverage do not know all the benefits available. Metro Plus Health is teaming up with PIX11 for a Medicare town hall. All the questions you want answered by medical and professional experts, and it all starts right now. Good evening, everyone. I'm Marisol Castro. Tonight, PIX11 is teaming up with Metro Plus Health for a town hall about Medicare. Right now, open enrollment is underway and runs through December 7th, and we want to make sure seniors in our area know all about the options out there for coverage and the health issues they may experience, all while staying in a budget. We have a great panel of experts with us, so let's meet first our team from Metro Plus Health. Roger Milliner, sir, tell us what you do. Hi, good evening. My name is Roger Milliner. I'm the Chief Growth Officer at Metro Plus, and I have the good fortune of making sure that applicants and members are educated and aware of the products and services we offer at our plant. Fantastic. I'm going to be I'm going to come to you with all my questions, too. Uh, and then right next to you is your colleague, uh, Romlin Dones. Tell us what you do. I'm the director of Medicare sales. Excellent. You two work together. Thank yes, you so do. much. And then the, behind them, we have our esteemed uh, panel of doctors, Dr. Sanjeev Shah. Hello. Good evening, Marisol. I'm the plan's chief medical officer. The plan's chief medical officer. Different CMO instead That's of right. the chief medical officer. And then Dr. Wendy Wilcox. Good evening. Hi. Good evening. I'm the system chief women's health officer for New York City Health and Hospitals. Excellent. And last but certainly not least, Dr. Douglas Eunice. Good evening, Marisol. Thanks for having us. Uh, I'm an orthopedic surgeon at Mount Sinai, so I'm the bone guy. The bo He's the bone guy. <laughs> Everyone needs a good bone guy. Thank you all so much. I know that our viewers are really going to benefit from all the information that you are all going to share with us tonight. We're going to cover a lot of ground in the next half hour. But if you have more questions, the team at Metro Plus Health is here to answer. All you need to do is scan the QR code on the screen and submit your questions. You can also call the phone number and speak directly to someone. That number is 833-965-1526. We have many answers ready to go. So shall we get into it? Feels like a good time. Okay, so today really is all about the viewer. We're in the, we're in the business of informing folks about, uh, about all this. So one of the most popular questions that we got is which Medicare plan is best for me and how do I apply? Roger, you want to tackle this one? Okay. So Medicare has two components to it. You could either stay with traditional Medicare, that's fee-for-service Medicare, the famous red, white, and blue card, or you can join a Medicare Advantage like the one we offer at Metro Plus Health. When you join a Medicare Advantage plan, there's four components that are made up within that Medicare Advantage. You have Part A, which is for your hospitalization, Part B, which is your medical, Part C, which is the plan, like us, that covers you, mm -hmm. and Part D, which is for your prescriptions. So with a Medicare Advantage plan, you get a little bit more than traditional Medicare. Original Medicare only offers and covers pretty much 80% of your coverage. When you have a wraparound plan like Metro Plus, it covers the whole gamut. So it's better to have a Medicare Advantage plan so you can get more uh, benefits through your Medicare. Okay, I like that one. So how do you apply for either of, either of these programs? Applying is easy. There's several ways. So Roman leads up our sales force, and we have sales representatives all throughout the communities at our community offices, some at some of our hospitals. We have medical vehicles and mobile vehicles that are strategically positioned in high traffic areas. You can call our dedicated uh, hotline where we have a team of staff that will answer the questions. So there's several ways. Go on our website. Many ways to join. Many, many different ways. We actually, uh, one viewer sent in her question via video, so let's take a look. My name is Lavette. My question for the Metro Plus Health Town Hall is what is the difference between Medicare and Medicaid? That is an excellent question and that viewer speaks on behalf of a lot of us, including me. <laughs> what is the difference? Yeah, so Medicare is for individuals that are aged or disabled usually qualify that way, mm -hmm. opposed to Medicaid, you qualify um, due to your income. Um, now Metro Plus offers plans for individuals that have Medicare, traditional Medicare, mm -hmm. as Roger just explained. Mm -hmm. In addition, we have uh, plans for individuals that have both Medicaid and Medicare. Those would be our Advantage and our Platinum plans, if respectively. Okay, two plans. So another common question, by the way, I'm learning a lot. I have a mom who's 86, and I'm, I help her with a lot of this stuff. 
and I have degrees from fancy universities, and even I get confused. So this is very, very helpful information. One of the things I want to also add Please. is that there's a misunderstanding that Medicare is only for people age 65 and older. Yep. There are people who qualify for Medicare under age 65 due to a disability. So okay. I just wanted to make sure that people are aware you can get Medicare be below age 65 if you have a disability Okay, as well. Excellent information. So another question we get, what are some things I should, should consider as I get older? And do you have an eye and dental plan included? Dr. Shaw, I'd like to direct this to you if possible. Sure. Thank you, Marisol. So I think none of us here or people watching at home can defy getting older. That's very true. <laughs> right, but we can embrace healthy aging. And uh, there are sort of three things I think about. I think about the body, the mind, and the soul. When it comes to the body, you know, the old adage, use it or lose it, right? It's important to exercise every day. We watch our diet, uh, which in general means, uh, you know, more vegetables, less meat. Uh, and then it's important to see your doctor uh, at least once a year and get the status of your health. Uh, for example, check your blood pressure, find out if you need uh, health screenings like for colon cancer or potentially immunizations like for shingles as you get older or right now getting your annual flu shot. And then there's the mind. Uh, the mind, I think, uh, is often undervalued in terms of a lot of the physical things get emphasized, but you know, connecting with friends and family, reading a good book, finding out uh, whether there's a senior center in a neighborhood where you can cultivate hobbies or meet new friends. And then finally, the soul, nurturing your soul, feeding your soul. Mm -hmm. And that requires things like, I don't know, meditation. For some, it's prayer. For other people, just sitting in a chair, closing your eyes and breathing deeply. And then there are practical things, like you were mentioning. Um, one of the joys uh, of life is, is eating. But to do that, you need healthy teeth. And seeing a, a dentist once a year is an important consideration there. And so seeing things. And so seeing an eye doctor or an uh, optometrist every other year is probably a good idea. And uh, my colleague Romlin can tell you that Metro Plus covers dental and, and vision benefits for, for all our members. Okay. Yes. So, want to get into it, yeah. Yes. So original Medicare uh, does not cover vision and dental. However, when you join Metro Plus, we do offer vision and dental benefits. Metro, so, so Metro Plus does offer dental benefits. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Excellent. Very good to know. Mm -hmm. uh, we have another video question. This one is about exercise. Let's take a look. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Feely, and my question is, how much exercise do seniors need per week? Thank you. This feels like the bone guy question. Dr. Eunice. I'll take it. <laughs> so I'll just start by saying, you know, I see a huge difference in my patients, my older patients who exercise regularly versus those who don't. You know, the, my patients that, that, that exercise regularly, they're, they're mentally sharper, they're happier, they are obviously more physically fit and more, more vital. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a social thing. A lot of times they're exercising in groups and walking with other people. And that's, we know that social ties are so, so important for longevity and quality of life. So it's absolutely critical to, to get regular exercise. So the CDC recommends 150 minutes of moderate intensity exercise per week. And that, that could be just a brisk walk, just kind of moderate stuff. Um, and there are lots of programs in the city that, that senior citizens can take advantage of. Silver sneakers programs, um, senior uh, fitness programs at the JCC, sure. YMCA, that kind of, kind of thing. So, you know, it's really, really important from an orthopedic standpoint, my, my area. Um, regular exercise is really important for bone strength. Yeah. Um, you know, weight-bearing exercise makes your bones stronger. It prevents yeah. fractures later on down the road. Um, and muscle mass, you know, maintaining your muscle mass as you get older is really important. It's, it's, we lose muscle mass 
as we get older. And the more muscle mass you can maintain, the more independent you can be, the more, um, the better quality of life you, you can have, the more stuff you can do. So some type of weight training I think is very, very important and I try to recommend that to, to my patients. I was in a fitness class with an 84 year old woman and she was thrown around 20 pounds and I was like, I wanna be you when I grow up. So I, I see that. I also see seniors playing pickleball uh, on the corner over here. Uh, so with this exercise and moving around, sometimes we get injured or we, you know, we need, we have some sort of physical ailment which may or may not require a specialist. So what does Metro Plus Health offer in a way of specialists? Yeah, seeing a specialist with Metro Plus is very simple. Uh, you just need to get a referral. Um, you don't always have to physically go and get the referral. The referral could be electronically sent to you electronically, um, depending on if the primary care and the specialist is in the same hospital system. There's coordination between the two, but you would need to get a specialist, and then it's simple. You just go to your uh, specialist upon the recommendation from your primary care doctor. Okay, so you get a referral, and before you know it, you're in front of a specialist. Sure. Well, let's talk about women's health. Sure. Is that is that <laughs> so? A lot of women were asking the question. I'm going through menopause and get hot flashes and mood swings. I get angry at my husband a lot more. She also said she, he may just be getting annoying. Uh, how do I manage the symptoms? Well, that's a great question. I think the first thing to realize is that menopause is actually a natural part. It's a natural stage of life. And since people are living longer, women can actually spend almost half of their lives in the stage of menopause. Oof. I know, the average, um, you know, and menopause occurs for most women between the ages of 45 and 55. Yep. And just as you heard that diet and exercise were important for healthy aging, it's important for menopause as well. More specifically though, to your questions about hot flashes, and some people have problems sleeping, um, there can be issues with vaginal dryness and things like that. I would say the hallmark of our therapy um, is hormonal therapy, mm -hmm. but it's not the only thing we can do. So um, for women, um, either some kind of estrogen progesterone combination and or estrogen uh, for those who don't have a uterus, um, you know, but it's important to speak to your primary care provider and they can also send you to a specialist. All important information and you, you hit it, we're, we're staying alive longer, so let's be healthy. Yes, and if I also can add that um, there are also non-hormonal uh, therapies as sure. well. Um, there are new medications that specifically target the temperature section of your brain to lower your temperature. I know, amazing. Wow. And there's other therapies um, that fall in the category of like blood pressure medications sure. or um, antidepressant pills. Um, there's even a um, neurologic pain agent that's, that can be used for menopause. This is fantastic news. I'm, yes. I'm really glad to hear this. And I'm glad that this is something that we're talking about because I know when my mother, she was, no one <clears> talked <throat> about it. It was something you just, you, it's taboo. We talk about exercising, maintaining a healthy lifestyle, and some people do it from the time they are children, and some people don't find this until later on in life. And Dr. Shaw, um, how is it important, how important is it, and is it possible to, to sort of adopt this lifestyle later on or even introduce it into your life? Yeah, I think that's a very crucial and important question, Marisol. I think one of the things to recognize is that as we age, our metabolism or the way the body processes food slows down. Mm -hmm. And that means that um, you might be eating the same diet, but as a result of the slow metabolism, you tend to gain weight as right. you get older. Seven and scoops of ice cream when you're 12 is not the same as when you're 49. Exactly turns right. Out. <laughs> and so I think as a result of that, you have to, as Dr. Yunus said, keep exercising because right. you. You know, some people get, get less active when they're older, so it's important to recognize the importance of 10 to 15 minutes of daily exercise or three times a week, whatever you can manage. Talk to your doctor about what's uh, best for you. One other thing I just mentioned, there's a lot of emphasis right now, right, Wendy, on weight gain. Yeah. But I think there's also unintentional weight loss. And for older people, that's something to always think about. If mm -hmm. that's happening to you, it's time to talk to your doctor right. because, as Dr. Eunice mentioned, if you're older and you're losing weight, that impacts your bones, mm -hmm. that impacts your muscles, impacts your frailty. Right. And frail people are more likely to have falls or ha mm -hmm. have a tougher time recovering from those falls. So one of the things we emphasize at Metro Plus is to ensure that 
speak to your doctor, but maybe you need to see a dietitian. Mm. Uh, as Romney will mention, we cover dietitian visits uh, at least six a year. And that's what I was, I was actually going to turn to you and ask what Metro Plus is doing to, to support uh, a healthy lifestyle. Absolutely. So um, there's two great benefits that we offer. Um, specifically, we offer our gym reimbursement benefit, so our seniors can go get healthy. Um, we also offer a nutritionist benefit, as Dr. Shaw mentioned, right? And this is a new benefit for 2024 for our Advantage plan. That's fantastic. Yeah. Gym membership, and what was the other thing? Nutritionist. And a nutritionist. I'd like to also add, we have a rewards program. Prevention is very key at Metro Plus, and so we have a great rewards program that our members could take advantage of, where we reward them for healthy lifestyles, for all types of activities that they can earn points, and then you know be able to redeem those points for gifts and, and things like that. Look at this. This is fantastic. I love this. All right, we're going to continue with some of our questions. Another common question: My head gets a bit dizzy if I get up too quickly, and I worry about falling. Is this normal, Dr. Yunus? Is this your so there's something called orthostatic hypotension sure. or postural hypotension where you know we've all experienced as you get up too quickly you get lightheaded and the, what's happening is that your heart needs to speed up to send blood up to your brain and if it, before the blood gets up there you know you can get a little bit lightheaded and it can be you know if you're dehydrated or you've been in bed for a long time you know it's it's normal to have that every now and then so you know if it's intermittent, occasional, nothing to really wor worry about. Mm -hmm. But if you are losing consciousness or you're, you are falling and it's, or if it's happening with frequency, you know, it could be something more serious than just dehydration or, or, or lying down for, for too long of a period of time. It could be medicines that you're taking. It could be heart disease. You know, there are all kinds of things that could be causing it. Sure. And, it and if you, so if you're having frequent episodes where you get lightheaded or passing mm -hmm. out when you stand up, you really need to see your doctor and see what may be going on. Right, because it could be something more than just you're waiting for the blood to come back up exactly. to your head. And on that same note, let's talk about fall and bathroom safety, Roman. What does Medicare insurance cover in terms of those expenses? Sure. So for our age and disabled uh, members, we actually offer a few benefits. Um, so for 2024, we are excited to announce that we have a flex benefit. Within that flex benefit, we have uh, bathroom safety devices that they can purchase with the card. Now the card is $155 per, uh, per month, mm -hmm. right? So it really helps um, for those type of items that they would need, such as guardrails for the bathroom, um, we also offer something called PERS, and that's a personal emergency response system. Um, everybody remembers the button, I fall and I can't get up. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, well, it's been digitized. It's, it's a bit more modern, right? We stepped it's a 2023-2024 into... version of exactly. how I've fallen and I exactly. can't get up. I love this. <laughs> yes. Um, so it really helps our members get the help that they need um, should they fall. Okay. I love that. Dr. Wilcox, um, I'm sure many of your patients come in with incontinence issues. I wonder if you could talk to us about that. That's true. Incontinence is very, very common among older adults. And in fact, millions of people suffer from it. Mm -hmm. And women are two times more likely to suffer from incontinence than men. And so, um, wow. you know, while many people may suffer from it, um, it really is important to get treatment for it, especially since it may worsen as we get older. Right. So there are many different types of uh, incontinence. Um, if someone finds themselves losing urine from coughing or sneezing, typically that's stress incontinence, and that can happen certainly after childbirth um, and or just the regular um, pelvic floor muscles getting older. Mm -hmm. um, but it's really important, certainly if it's impacting your life, to also go see your doctor mm -hmm. and talk about your symptoms. They'll do a thorough, thorough history and physical. Mm -hmm. And um, we do have specialists called urogynecologists and also urologists. Who knew? Who I'm knew? Learning so Who much knew? from you guys. Oh my gosh! Yes. Wow. And so, um, you know, if something requires beyond the normal amount of testing, right. um, certainly you can see a specialist, and they can help guide you to treatment. Okay. Very insightful. What was that? A urogynecologist? Urogynecologist, um, as well as urologist. Look at that. Yes. Okay. Um, okay, so I, uh, I equate getting older with losing your hearing. And yes, I'm speaking from experience again. My, my mother's ears must be ringing. But hearing issues, 
uh, also become a thing. What are some signs that someone is actually losing their hearing, Dr. Shaw? Yeah, I think uh, it's, it's about a third of uh, older adults mm -hmm. uh, have some issue with hearing loss. Yep. And just as we get older, as, as your mother has found, right, mm -hmm. the hearing diminishes. And hearing is such a critical part of our life. You underestimate its importance, how we interact with friends and family, um, how we enjoy music or watch, go out to the movies or watch television. All of these are dependent on your ability to hear clearly. Um, and when you lose that ability, it affects the brain and its function. Yeah. Uh, people who have hearing loss have sometimes have memory loss. They become depressed mm -hmm. because of that or socially isolated. So it's really critical um, for individuals who are experiencing that to get their hearing evaluated. And that requires you to see an audiologist, a hearing specialist who can judge how acute your hearing loss is, what can be done about it. We recommend people see that audiologist every couple of years. Mm -hmm. And if you do have hearing loss, if it does happen to you and it's affecting the sharpness of your hearing, your mind, or anything else, then you might end up having to use a hearing aid. Sure. And those are costly things. And so Metro Plus, for example, subsidizes the cost of your hearing aids. And I think Roman can speak to that because that was our next question. Talk to us about hearing coverage. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so number one, um, as Roger mentioned earlier, we do cover the specialist visit, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, in addition to that, we also cover the hearing aid, right? So it's we cover $500 every single year for hearing aids. And this is, again, a new benefit for 2024, which we have enhanced for our Advantage plan. Brand new. Yes. Fantastic. We know how important calcium is for healthy bones, especially as we age. For some tips on what to eat to strengthen bones, we want to go to registered dietitian with New York City Health and Hospital, Gail Mayer. Take a look. In order to protect our bone health as we age, we want to make sure we're getting calcium from plant-based sources. And we can do that with dark leafy greens, sweet potatoes, acorn squash, one of the winter squashes, have a lot of calcium, and tofu as well has a lot of calcium. We also get calcium from some seeds, like chia seeds and sesame seeds. And tahini, which is made from sesame seeds, is one of my favorite ways to get calcium. Okay, Roland, so tell us how the Metro Plus Health Medicare plan helps promote a healthy lifestyle. Absolutely. Um, so as I mentioned earlier, in 2024 for our Advantage plan, we have exciting benefits. Um, one of those is the nutritionist, right, to help you eat better, right, um, help you choose the foods that you need to eat, the portion controlled, et cetera, et cetera. We also offer our gym membership. Um, in addition to all of that, the Flex Card also offers a benefit that you are able to buy groceries with that card as well. Wow. So we have you covered. Man, you guys are pulling all the stops here for 2024. I love this. So, um, Dr. Yunus, as an orthopedic surgeon, what are the most common surgeries that you're performing? So, um two things are happening. One is the baby boomers are getting older, mm -hmm. and two is we're getting heavier. So um, what's happening is that osteoarthritis, especially in the knees, is really exploding. So the number of knee replacements that we do is currently in the United States almost a million a year, and just in the United States. And that is projected to triple in the next decade to, to almost three million wow. knee replacements a year. So it's really, um, it's, it's really a, a big deal. Um, the other thing is fractures. You know, mm -hmm. we, we see um, a lot of, unfortunately, preventable often hip fractures. So we do about um, 300,000 hip fracture surgeries a year in the United States. So it's another big, um, big area of pathology sure. that we see. So hip fractures, knee replacements, hip replacements, we do around 500 to 600,000 in the United States alone. Wow. Um, so I was not expecting that number to be that large. And so, Roger, how does insurance cover this? Because these are these surgeries come with a, a hefty price tag. Yeah, depending on your level of Medicaid, and I'm particularly talking about the Medicaid Advantage plan where you have both Medicaid and Medicare, depending on your level of Medicaid, it's usually either zero or 20%. Okay. That's the coinsurance that you would have to pay. Zero, depending on your level of eligibility, up to 20%. Okay. Another viewer question. 
I love the fall with all its fruits and vegetables. What should I eat during this time? And for this, we're going back to Gail Mayer at the Elmhurst Farmer's Market in Queens. Fresh herbs are also a really great way to improve the flavor, to add lots and lots of flavor to your food. We have some fresh dill here. We have, oh, this celery looks amazing. And I would use those leaves. Some people throw away the leaves of the celery, but actually I would keep them and put them in soup because they add a lot of awesome flavor. We have some like fresh mint here that looks really good too, fresh okra. We also have sweet bell peppers, right? And they come in so many different colors and colors are really important to making sure that our meals are nutritious and give us lots of different antioxidants, right? So each color represents a different type of antioxidant. That's how uh, the food gets their color is through the antioxidants that they have. And Roman, can you talk to us about uh, fruits and vegetables and other healthy foods that we can be consuming? So yeah, absolutely. Um, so I go right back to our benefits. As I, as I stated earlier, um, in 2024, we have the exciting benefits. Um, so one of them being the nutritionist, right? And the other being the flex benefit. Again, it's $155 per month, and you can use it to buy groceries, right? So all those fruits and veggies that you would need in order to stay healthy, you're able to purchase um, with this card. card. Excellent. We've really made the card very easy for people to use. Some people want to use it for over-the-counter medications. Some people want to use it for groceries. Some want to apply it towards their PERS benefit. So the Flex card gives you the flexibility to use the card in a variety of ways to consume any of these benefits through that 155 a month. Also and I think bills, right? to right. pay yeah, your bills, you could pay your yeah. utility bills. So if someone has a Verizon phone bill or a Con Edison bill, if they live in New York City, you can apply that towards paying your bills. So that flex card, I think it comes out to um, 1800, 1800, 1850. 1850 a year. It's $1,800 given back to you as a member to use in this flex benefit through these variety of programs that we offer. That is fantastic mm -hmm. and very, very helpful, I think, for a lot of folks mm -hmm. in the New York City metro area. This is a question that comes fra from someone who's retired. I'm retired and do not have a lot of money. Okay. What are some programs of assistance for people like me? So this is this is a fixed income, it sounds like, type of situation. Yes, absolutely. Um, so there are many programs that are eligible um, for members that qualify um, due to their income. Yeah. So for example, there's a Medicare savings program that will help you pay for your premium for Part B, for example. Mm -hmm. um, there's also an EPIC program that helps you pay for your um, prescription drug coverage. Mm -hmm. and, and those are usually for individuals that make maybe a bit more money that don't qualify for other programs, for example. Mm -hmm. Um, so there's also the Medicaid program as well. And people don't often think of that, but um, it is a program that helps you pay for your sure. prescription drug coverage, your medical costs, it helps you fill in the gap for 20%, et cetera, et cetera. And again, that's a program that you qualify due to your income. Wow, chock full of information. We covered a lot. And this was all very, very helpful and useful. And 2024, holy smokes, you guys pulled out all the stops. Thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate it. Lots of insight and expertise. We covered a lot of ground, hopefully answered many of your questions. If you have more, Metro Plus Health is ready to answer them. And now you can scan the QR code or call the number on your screen and speak to someone directly. The phone number is 833-965-1526. And all the information you need can also be found on the website. A reminder, open enrollment for Medicare is ongoing now through December 7th. Thank you so much for watching and have a great night.